I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using Wright-Patterson rules. If you already know how to play the four player version, this is a little different. You play with two players who play two hands at one time. If you want to know more, look for information in the video description below. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player one, playing for east and south, will get 28 tiles. Player two, playing for west and north, will get 27 tiles. Then we'll look at each player's hand and see where the strengths lie. Hopefully we'll be able to identify a category or two to play. We're going to roll these dice to determine who is prevailing. I rolled a nine, so east is prevailing. I'll use this to mark whose turn it is. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one. Wow, look at all those dots. Chow, Pung, or here's a Chow pair. This, this is one away from ready to win on Pung Chow. Pung Chow is a sequence hand. Number 15 on page 18. Four Pungs or Chows in a pair in one suit. You have to draw your winning tile yourself. Up here, we have a Pung of Red Dragons. Only three cracks, though. I wonder if we could maybe play a Hand of Honors with the one and the nine. Let's start by discarding the cracks. Maybe play a Hand of Honors and Pung Chow. We could maybe even use the ones and nines up here. Let's see, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. We might be able to use terminals up here for a hand of honors. Honors include winds, dragons, ones, and nines. Let's just wait and see. Because we might be able to play dragon lineup. We'd have to throw away a dragon, though. We'll see. Dragon lineup is a sequence hand. Number 11 on page 18. Sequence of one or nine in one suit with one tile paired two through eight. Red, white, and green dragon and one dragon paired. We have one, two, three, three pair. We can maybe use these down here for razzle, five pairs with news. That's a pair hand. Pair hands are all on page 17 and Razzle is number six. I think we would be all right if we discard the cracks. Oh, we need a replacement. Five crack, oh, five crack, okay, five crack. We have one more tile. It corresponds, we might be able to play either pair hand, sequence hand, or jewel hand with these dragons. There's even uh, some date hands that use dragons with number tiles. Chinese New Year, number 79 on page 27. Pungs of threes, fives, and sevens with corresponding dragon and one each of the remaining. If we can get seven crack, 
Let's play cracks and discard these. It's a little risky. Maybe hold the one and the nine for a hand of honors. Discard those. We'll see. I really want to use these dragons. One, two, three, f three pair. Okay, let's see what we can do for player two. I was just thinking maybe we could play Dazzle. Five pairs with dragons. That would really deplete this up here though. Let's just wait and see. That's it for Winds and Dragons for that player. Oh, we have a flower. Let's get it. Nine crack. Wow, look at that. All we need is a six and a white dragon and a pair. We could play dragon lineup. Dragon lineup, number 11, page 18. Sequence of one and nine in one suit, one tile paired, two through eight, red, white, green dragon, one dragon paired. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. We do have the makings for little chows in here. One, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, pair fours. One, two, three, mixed. And little chows is a double limit hand, but that would really deplete the rest. Maybe what we could do is little chows and middle chows. Or little, mm, if we do little chows, that would really deplete that. One, two, three. Let's just see what it looks like. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Pair of fours. One, two, three. Mixed. Okay, then. Two, th one, two, three, mix. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, pair of fours. One away from a double limit hand. Middle chows. Mixed suits. Page 24. Number 53. This is little chows. One, two, three. And then up here, we could do four, five, six middle chows. Let's just see. We've got fours here, four, five, six, with a pair of threes. We have no threes. Five, six, five, four, six, mixed, discards. Yeah, there's not a lot there. I don't know if that's a good idea. I think we might be better off in, in one suit. We do have seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine with a pair of sixes. That's not too much better. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. Or this is a double limit hand. Let's play a double limit hand. And then maybe play big chows, seven, eight, nine, 
but focus on a suit as a plan B. Cracks with dragons. Let's see what happens and discard five bam first. If this doesn't work out, we could fall back to one suit with cracks and one suit with dots. Okay, here we go. We're going to discard two bam. Nine dot. That's a keeper if we play big chows. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. Let's discard five bam. Oh, I forgot to move my marker. Seven dot. Seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven pair. We're still a little light. Not ready to win yet. Let's discard six bam. It's really close though. Six crack. We'll hold cracks. Or seven, eight, nine. Let's discard five dot. It's good if you can have a double limit hand as part of your plan because the total score is what's compared. If you win two single limit hands and two, a single and a double, you might still be able to create a draw. All right, we're gonna draw. Five crack. Let's discard eight, bam. Ah, I forgot to move the marker again. Four crack, all right. We still have one tile we can discard before we have to decide. We're just gathering right now, but it looks like cracks is looking really good right now. Six bam. Nine crack. All right. Here now we need to decide. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine mixed. If we were to play big chows, we would have six discards. If we play one suit with dragons, we would have six discards, and that's a single limit hand. It's much more flexible though. I think what we could do though is discard dragons and still maybe play cracks one suit if seven eight nine doesn't come in because this you have to draw it's concealed all right let's discard green dragon this is concealed seven bam Concealed. Flower. South. Now there is a hand that uses seven, eight, nine in each suit with news. I believe it's called Sukiyaki. It's on page 24. Oh no, it's Chow Main, number 58. Sukiyaki is for middle chows. Chow Main is number 58, seven, eight, nine with news and one win paired. Let's discard Red Dragon. Sukiyaki is a single limit hand. Big Chows is a double limit hand. Let's draw. East. Hand of Honors. We could maybe play Betty Betty is a pair hand with winds and dragons. Number eight on page 17, three pairs of 
simples, numbers two through eight, seven odd honors. This is two away from ready, but it is a single limit hand. We're also nearing angels, which is a double limit hand. Angels is an honor hand on page 25, number 63. Ones and nines in each suit with seven odd honors. Odd honors means you have news, dragons, and any one paired. We, all we need is a north. So, I think we should push it. Let's discard five crack. We're in between Betty and angels. It's really the same hand. Instead of pairs of simples, you have ones and nines in each suit, but the seven on honors is the same. And angels is a double limit hand. So this is concealed. One dot, we needed that. Pair fours, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. This hand is ready to win on a one bam. Double limit hand, ready to win. So we have to decide up here now. I think we should give up the south. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, mixed. We need a pair of sixes. We would use one or the other. Let's discard south. Nine bam. Okay, there's a terminal pair now. Pair, pair, red dragon is out. I think we should discard this red dragon. Since we can't Kong it, with, ter with heavenly twins you can use a, a Kong, but the red dragon is out. Let's discard that. We could maybe play seven pairs of honors which is a double limit hand. So red dragon was thrown, we're gonna draw. Three bam, that's an option. Now we need either a one dot or a three bam. No, one crack or a three bam. No, 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 <laughs> one crack or a one bam, because we'll use the opposite here. We have to make a choice. Okay, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine mixed option for a pair. Discards. Okay, we need a nine bam, eight dot seven bam mixture. If we play big chows, which is a double limit hand, we have three discards. If we play all cracks, these are dedicated. We would have seven discards. Let's go for big chows. Five crack. We're gonna go for it. Big chows, little chows. Two double limit hands. Two crack. We still have options. Let's discard. None of these are out. Six crack. We only need three pair for Betty. White dragon. I don't think we need it. White dragon. If you're not using winds and dragons, discard them for this reason. Eight dot. Okay. Here we go. We have a pair. We may not need that. It's isolated. Well, it's not isolated because we could do a one, two, three, or a two, three, four. But we have a pair, pair, five, six, seven, pair, or six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Six, seven, eight, four, five, six, four, five, six. There we go. Ready to win on a five dot. If it doesn't work going left to right, work it right to left. Left to right, it doesn't work. 
but right to left, it worked. We need a five dot to win here. I would keep these to see what we can do with flexibility. Here we have one, two, three, four pair, five pair, one, two, three, four, five. If we get one more pair in here, we could play doublets and call a discard to win. So, so that we can have flexibility, maybe we could even use these up here and still do Peng Chao down here. One, two, three, four, five blocks. We need a three dot, three dot or six dot, two away from winning if we use this up here. Let's go ahead and focus on honors and terminals and play heavenly twins or angels and go ahead and discard these to crack. Three bam, we don't need it. We already have a three bam. We need ones. So we just got through the second wall. We're going into the middle game. Everybody should know at least what category they're in. Here, we're playing a sequence hand or a pair hand. Here, we're playing hand of honors. Here, we're playing mixed suits, little chows. Mixed suits, big chows. It's great when you have mixed suits. Break them up and do chows. West, we paired up. So now we have one, two, three, four pair of terminals, honors. Let's discard three crack. Six crack. West. Okay, now we have a pung. We could maybe play Heavenly Hash. That's a single limit hand. It would be a downgrade. But if you do a double Mahjong, you'll get double value for both. Heavenly Hash is number 61 on page 25. Four Pungs and a pair of Honors and or Terminals. So any combination. We could Pung, 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 be waiting on a pair. Okay, we'll discard five crack. They're two away from double Mahjong, I think. I think we might need to Pung and pair up, though. They may be a little further. Well, they are a little further than that. We got work to do up here. Five Bam. That is not a keeper. This Chow Hand is not coming in. Flower. Nine Crack. That is a keeper. Maybe. Let's discard five crack. Nine bam. That we needed badly. We need to pair up a six. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. We need a seven, eight, nine mixed. Here we're waiting on a one bam or one crack. Let's discard four crack. They're two away from a double mahjong. Four crack was thrown. Whoa, green dragon. One, two, three, four. You can use a Kong as two pair. One, two, three, four, five if we use that. I think at this point I would give up on angels because we have a Pung and two pair of dragons. I think we should discard the nine crack. Focus on pairs, Pungs maybe. Nine crack. This is concealed. Seven crack. We don't need a seven crack. We already have it. We need a seven bam or an eight. We need a seven eight in bams and dots to make that. So that's redundant. Let's get rid of four crack though. Eight bam. Discard. Flower. Green Dragon, we don't need it. 
down here, we could pong for trade wins, which is a double limit. We've got a pong. We could pong here and here. But the problem is we don't have another pair in here. This player threw that green dragon. We could pong and play trade wins. Trade wins is a pung hand, so you can claim discards to make pungs, but number 70 on page 26, four pungs of winds and dragons with a pair of terminals. But we have a pung here, pair here, pair here. There are two red dragons out, so we wouldn't be able to pung that. We would not have any other way to go unless we played Heavenly Hash. I think I would rather play Heavenly Twins and let it go. We could also fall back to Heavenly Hash. We could call that for Heavenly Hash, actually, because there are two green dragons out. This would be the only time we could take it. Or we could play heavenly twins one two three four five pair we're one away from ready on heavenly twins let's stay concealed and draw hey bam that's what we need up here seven crack three dot okay here we go now let's see if we can use this up here for a pair one, two, three, four, five. We're one away from Heavenly Twins. Two, three, four, four, five, six, pair. Seven, eight, nine. Ready to win on a six dot. Here's a six dot right there. Six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, nine. Ready to win on a six dot. There's one out. We'd have to draw it. But it is ready to win. Or, pair, chow, chow. Winning hand right there. Pair, four chows. Up here, pairs. Or we could use this to help us get to the pairs. Let's discard one BAM. We have too many singles up here in the end. There's a white dragon out. But if we pair up the white, no, nope, you know what? We, we really don't need the white dragon either. And there's one out. No one BAMs are out. Let's discard white dragon. All right, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's draw flower. One dot. No, we already have that. We already have it. We don't need it. We don't need the seven crack either. This is going to go away. Unless we get a two crack or th two bam, we could use that. Let's draw two crack. That's what that player wants. Four bam. We're good with our four. Five bam. Nobody wants bams. Well, sort of. White dragon. Good thing we got rid of the white dragon. Would have been hard to pair up one more. Three dot. Okay, now let's see if we can use these up here. Two, three, four, three, four, five, pair. There it is. Pung chow. Chow, 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 pair. We're going to use this up here. One, two, three, four, five. Ready to win on a one, two, three. One, two, three, four. 
we're a ways away yet east south neither are out no there's a south out there's a one is there one bam out no let's throw south there's only four of every tile eight crack we already have an eight crack we need an eight bam or seven bam six crack and they still need to pair up the six four bam eight dot we have a winning hand here we'll discard that pair 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 we do have one two pungs but i don't think i would break that all up for hijacks we're too far away and this is ready to win this is one away i think i would stick with pung chow hijacks is where you have four concealed pungs in a pair we have a pung here and that eight dot would have given us another pung then we had pairs but we would need to pair up and it's concealed so you have to draw it i think it's too late in the game for that hand so we threw an eight dot that's what this player needs right here but this is concealed south good thing we threw the south here we go we need an east a west or a one bam we got a two bam and that's what they want here They're drawing each other's tiles north this west probably would be a good discard because there's only one more we got it we and we're one away still five dot this is good we're gonna stay where we are there that's a winning hand right there nine crack no we need a we need seven eights in bams and dots and we need to pair up a six seven dot we're good two dot we've already got a two dot one crack that's an option one crack none are out let's give up the west there's only one more left this is an option we got one oh my gosh finally okay we need an eight dot in there so now we need to decide here six crack there are two three out so this is no good six crack got to play as if you don't know all the six dots are right there six bam that's what we could switch to 6 p.m. that's the third one out three crack we already have a three crack these chow hands are really hard that's why they're double limits four crack now we we need to keep an eye on the game because we're this is a winning hand no hand is really valid until you declare it so we're we're at the last pick of the third wall this player should consider declaring that winning hand we got the two bam finally one two three okay now now that's a winning hand right there one two three mixed one two three in each suit with a pair of fours so that's little chows here we're one away so they're they're one away from ready on a double mahjong let's discard three bam and see what happens both of them need to think about declaring because we are now going into the end game let's draw five bam I would love to have a double mahjong on that eight crack we don't need it two 
to crack. One crack. Nope, we're good down here. One crack. This is concealed. Nine dot. Pair, pair, nine dot. Now I almost wish I had kept dots because now we can use this nine dot up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is ready to win on a one crack or a one bam. Here, let's see, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, two, three, four. Ready to win on a three dot. Let's see, we'll throw east. There's no harm in that switch except that we can't declare at the point at this point we'll we'll just see what happens east was thrown nine dot that is an option let's discard two dot if we can get an eight bam or an eight dot we'll be ready on a six dot east oh we could have had it shoot one crack. Okay, now one crack. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's declare Mahjong on a double limit hand. Seven pair. At least we have one double limit up. No double Mahjong though, because we're declaring them separately. So, Heavenly Twins right there. Now down here, we're going to throw one bam and we need to draw a three dot. Any dot will rearrange and see what we got. So one bam was thrown. Here we're going to draw to start our turn. Now this player declared Mahjong, a double limit hand. I would do the same because we need, oops, we need to offset that winning hand. I'm going to put these down here. So we're going to declare little chows. And we'll throw north. Drawing for this player. West. That Kong would have come in. We lost that, that hand a couple times, but we, we got it by discard anyway. Let's draw. Seven bam. We've already got a seven bam. We need a three dot or really any dot might help us out. We got it. Self pick. Mahjong. We did draw it. Peng Chow. So we got both of them. But they're not double Mahjong. We've got two Mahjongs, but not simultaneous. So we'll get single value here and double value for our second win. So we have a double, double. There's a double here to offset a double. So they would pay for a double limit hand because we won both. This hand was blocked because the sixes were down here. And six bam, six crack all went out early in the game. When you share tiles between your hands, sometimes it can be helpful, sometimes it can hurt. For player one, that one dot went back and forth between hands and in the end, they got heavenly twins by moving it up and they sacrificed a winning Peng Chao hand later drew into it. With player two, their sixes were all used up, but their, their Chao hands were nicely set up 
Little chows in one hand, big chows in the other hand. No conflicts there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. And you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using Wright-Patterson rules, may all your picks be keepers. Thank you.